Hello everyone and welcome to Vivid Collectibles. My name is Danny and today we're going to be reviewing the Robin Premium Format figure by Sideshow Collectibles. Now this statue has been out for you know, probably a year and a half or so and uh, never really drew my attention but I did get a d good deal on it on eBay. So I went ahead and picked it up and I'm glad I did. It's a very nice if not small statue but it's got a lot of good details it's very well made so uh let me get right into this particular review so what you're looking at now is the damon wayne configuration with the katana the katana would be the exclusive piece that you get with this if you get the exclusive they both come with two different portraits this being the uh tim drake and this one being the damon wayne edition and they both come with well actually the uh collector's edition comes with this one weapon this is like a bow staff so the exclusive is simply the katana so let's get right into this review uh he's at um, ace chemicals warehouse it's got a busted up wooden base with a shot up drum the wooden base is done very very well you have some like a uh, light browns with some grays in it a lot of good textures you see uh splintered wood here and there looks very very nice feels plastic to the touch but looks like authentic wood i like how that looks it looks it reminds me a lot of the uh logan premium format uh figure by sideshow as well so as we continue we're going to move up we have this drum that robin is actually jumping onto and it's been uh shot and it's been cut and it's got this ooze coming out of it so that's the chemicals in it it's like a fluorescent green that looks great and I love the way it's flowing I love the way this drum has the the top of it is dry and the bottom because it's been cut you see where it's oily so it looks like a really like a real drum it's weathered looks great you have the ace chemicals art right there that looks great that sign and then bullet holes throughout nice bullet effect they're like a yellow dark orange color they look great. I like the way that uh, they add so much to the particular story, like he's getting shot at at real time. So that looks really good. Uh, the drum even has the uh, top of it right there, the cap. That looks good. It's slightly all oily over here, drier, and then more oily in the bottom. Really, a really good job on this particular drum. As you continue to move up, we have Robin's left arm. He's holding on to the drum. The gloves are, um, they have like some knuckle pads on top. Both of them do, and that looks good. They have some nice textures to them on, on, on the gloves. I like the way they look leathery. They look good, good textures and, and just nice detail on them with some nice creases and folds where they need to be for realism. I like the way they did those. We have his boots with some nice tread. They almost look like military style boots. Again, good textures on them. Not a lot of texture, but some there. Nice uh, line separation. Nice designs on the boots. They look good. They look like a military style leather boot. They're like a dark green. You move up, it's like a lighter green on his pants. they has got a little texture here by the knees. Again, some good, some good effects. Some good shading for muscle separation. Some good folds for that added realism that the uh, fabric is stretching. I like how they did that as well. Looks good. Uh, comic book style, they pulled it off, looks great. You continue to move up, you have that uh, yellow belt with that circle insignia in the middle. I'm not really sure what that means, but it does look good. It's almost like a mustard yellow. It has some shading on it, different variations of that uh, dark yellow. The shirt is like a dark burgundy with some textures on both sides. Again, Good fold for realism because he is in an action style pose. The green sleeves have some great folds as well. They look very, very, very real. And I like how it, when you see that the arm, it, it's so much wider than the arm. It looks very, very real when you're looking at it from afar. Uh, the skin tones are good. Very consistent throughout. Pinkish, uh, like a pinkish beige on him. Uh, he's not an overly muscular guy. But what's there is done very, very well. He's more of an athletic guy. He's a slight guy, not a big guy. And in my opinion, this is an underscaled statue. I know it's quarter scale, but I don't think it's a quarter scale piece. In fact, he's more like a one-fifth. 
in my opinion. If you put him next to the uh, Batman quarter scale by Sideshow, he's diminutive. He's way too small. So, uh, let's continue to move up. You have his uh, cape. It's a mixed media cape, which uh, is posable, has wires on it. So, the inside of it is a yellow, uh, almost velvety style. And then the uh, back of it has a pleather uh, look to it. It has some wear on it. So, you can see that the cable is already attached to the body. So, it was a pretty straightforward assembly and easy to pose. And then the hood is attached to this portrait. The uh, portraits are a standout. Both of them are done extremely well. The hair on both of them is done extremely well. Good hair separation. Uh, I like the way it flows. They're both very different, uh, including their masks. Uh, again, really well done. I like the way they did the whited out eyes. You don't have to get into making you know, accurate eyes, but they both look good. Nice smirk on him. Really nice wrinkles. Very, very nice, expressive. Uh, portraits on both of them. They look great, both of them. Uh, this is the Damon Wayne one. I like the spiky hair on that on this one. I like the expression on this one as well. And uh, I like the katana. The katana is really well made. It looks like steel. Uh, it is uh, most most likely plastic, but it looks very good. This is probably the way that I'm going to pose him. I do like the uh, Damon Wayne look a little bit better. And he's got this more serious look about him than the Tim Drake. And I like the mask a little bit better and the hair. Plus, I love the way the hood the hood is. It is posable. I don't know how much you're going to pose it. I guess you can put it over him or just you know put it behind him all the way. But I, I like it. I think it's a great statue. I like that you get uh, both portraits, whether you get the exclusive or the collector's edition. Uh, the exclusive is just a katana. It does add a little bit of an uh, element to it. Uh, they didn't make a lot of these, only 500, compared to the 1,000 for the uh, regular version, which I believe is still available at uh, Sideshow. So my overall impressions is he's underscaled, but he looks terrific. Everything about this is great. The paintwork is nice. The sculpt is good. I like the engineering, the way he's basically in midair. That looks good. And they made it light so that there's no leaning issues in the future so not really a lot to complain about I was looking at this the other day and I felt like the fingers may be a little bit on the long side and I get why they did it so that it could hold up a little bit better uh, on this drum but uh, overall I'm very pleased with it let me know what you guys think about this statue uh, I like it let me know I want to hear what collectors are thinking thank you for watching guys till next time